And then we end Jan the at the Dalatsa, the day market. Um, I got dropped off here after my last trip, my second trip to the Thai embassy where I picked up my passport with my visa, everything's all good. Um, and I'm putting new strings on, on my guitar here. Um, the K-Pok, where does it say K-Pok? Doesn't even say it anymore, it said it right here, but you can't see that nowadays. This is a big deal for the little K-Pok. Um, it has had new strings on it maybe four times ever. Uh, and that's that's a maximum. I think I got it. I got it in China. I got it in Chengdu in the year 2006. It was a very good year for buying little guitars. Before that, I had played a guitar exactly this size called the Skylark, and my brother had found that I forget where and uh, strung it up, and and he still plays it to this day, and he plays it a lot better uh, than I ever did. Um, and I'll show you some videos. I'll link them down below of him playing the Skylark. But then I, I got my very own, um, and the Skylark went back to him, and this is a K-Pok. And the last time it had strings on it, that were the last time I restrung it, I think must have been, I don't know, like three years ago maybe? I remember asking a guy in Chinese if, if he had pliers in his store that I could cut off the ends of the metal-wrapped nylon strings, and so I must have been in China at the time, but I really don't know when that was so it's been a while i got some alcohol which sounds if you're a farang like me sounds very similar to the name of, of the country you want lao which is laos and lao which is alcohol there's a tonal difference but don't ask me what it is right now because i don't remember anyway but i managed to get some and uh, i've cleaned it up a little bit and i'm going to be playing it out of tune very very soon again